Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience using Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra on Android 9 Pie latest update. So far, it's been one whole month uh, with the, the latest update um, to the Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra. And for what my findings is that the device has I mean, it's aged very well. Um, this is a one-year-old device running on somewhat the latest operating system of Android. As we may know that, you know, Google is going to talk about Android Q today and stuff like that and what phones are available to get the up upgrade. Um, but as of right now, the latest is Android 9 Pie. And um, the only thing I'm saying that you're not really getting out of the whole Google experience or Android 9 Pie experience is the AR uh, core, the AR core um, features, and also um, the digital well being. Now, I think the reason why Sony didn't implement the digital well being uh, features is because they have their own features. And if you if you have the Xperia um, device, all you have to do is go to uh, battery. You have to go to battery. And then there is a, a two power saving modes called uh, stamina mode and ultra mode. Now, now stamina mode and ultra mode um, basically helps you um, conserve power, helps you save battery, and um, stop uh, having apps running, you know, crazy and draining your battery life. Also, they have another feature called Xperia Existence, um, and basically what this does is uh, it gives you options. Um, to use Xperia Actions, something like Motorola Actions, but um, this is basically once again to uh, to to help your smartphone get smarter as you use it. So now you have a good night mode, you have a focus mode, you have a commute mode, and you have gaming, and you have a broad mode, which all these modes are found in the Xperia Actions on your Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra or any Xperia device. And um, they also have a smart cleaner to, to help optimize your applications and your memory, to help storage and memory. So uh, with all that being said, this is still included with your Sony device, even when after you update the Android 9 um, Pi update. Uh, the, camera, the camera UI has gotten actually better um, and you, you can find like settings more easier. It's, it's the it's the mode, so you can find the settings more um, better. You have Google Lens, actually you, you have Sony's AR effect, but it's not the same as Google AR Core. But they do implement their own AR uh, effects. You got slow motion, uh, you got manual and pro mode, which basically is like pro mode. You got manual and pro mode on your device, so you still have options. Uh, to you know adjust you know the picture the brightness uh, photos your video quality things and that sort so you still have all of that included with the Android 9 update on Sony Xperia now I know a lot of people had concerns about um, how how well does the battery perform the battery actually gets better um I can actually use the Sony Xperia SA2 Ultra in three days I can actually use it in three days with this 36, 3700 milliamp um, battery that's included. Uh, the phone still has the four gigabytes of RAM. Um, you still got expandable storage with the SD card slot. Now, now for some that's on T-Mobile, you might not want T-Mobile with Sony uh, Xperia XA2 Ultra for the simple fact it's a little outdated. And, and what I mean by that is they don't include bands 66 and 71. And I know if you... If you hear me talk about the Moto G7 Power, this is why I like it for the simple fact it's 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 main core, it's main core is T-Mobile's network and the uh, Sony has all the AT&T network, all the AT&T bands, and I've I've used AT&T um, SIM cards in here like Free Up, Freedom Pop, uh, Cricket, uh, I use um, Chat Sim, and I stay with coverage. I stay with coverage, no matter where I went with the Sony Xperia when it came came down to the AT&T network. Now, when it came down to the LTE network on T-Mobile, I know I lost service. So I had no service of in a few spots, but then once I left that spot, it you know, kicked right back in because of bands two, four, and 12. So as long as you got bands two, four, and 12, 
and you're using this device, it's okay. All right. It's okay. Um, like I said, I just wanted to make this quick video about my experience on Android 9 by using Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra. Um, the device still runs like brand new. Um, like I mentioned in that one video, uh, I usually, when I get an operating system update, I usually clear out all the, you know, all the bugs. I mean, not bugs, but all the old data. I clear out all the apps and start it off brand new and fresh. And then, you know, upgrade to the latest operating system because you want to make sure that you don't have anything on your device that would interfere uh, with the performance or what have you, and then go back and reinstall those same type of apps that you had on the previous operating system update and see if these applications are working uh, properly uh, with, the, with the latest update. So that's what I will recommend um, to most users um, that, that feel like they're, they're afraid to you know update. Make sure you just back up your applications, back up your data, your information, um, your contacts, your text messages, um, emails, make sure you you can remember your passwords and things and like that. And if you can't remember your passwords, you know, they got applications like LastPass and stuff like that to uh, put all your information, your usernames and passwords in this one little service. But you got to remember, you know, that main password to that so you can keep everything connected. And also, if you're using Google Chrome, it's always, you know, offering, say, hey, you want to save your passwords to your account and you can do it that way through the Google account. But other than that, um, I'm, I'm right now I'm using mid mobile on the Sony Xperia SA2 Ultra and I'm getting LTE plus, which basically it's, it's not going to improve like speeds or anything like that, but it's just, uh, to keep you, you know, with coverage the they, they keep some type of advanced coverage on, on your device and stuff like that. But, um, it, it's, it's really not making a real big difference. Um, you're not, you're not really going to see it like through the naked eye or anything like that. You have to basically play with it. So for any, anybody that, that had concerns with using Android 9 Pi or Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra in the United States, in the U S, um, like I said, I mean, I, I might have like a couple of apps crash and these apps, like the developers probably not even updating it to where it's supposed to be on the, the latest API levels anyway with Android 9. And that, that, that's another thing, like another, another way you can check and see, um, what, what, um, processing, what, uh, levels of, of APIs on you basically, you got to download this application called, um, CPU. I mean, uh, yes, CPU Z and it will basically break down like your operating system, your software, um, the processor, uh, what's on your device, um, and things and that sort. Now, sometimes it does come with ads and it does get a little annoying, but it will show you, like, I'm on API level 28 in Android 9 Pot. So, I mean, it's, it's going to let you know exactly, you know, what your device is capable of, what the battery life is, how well the, the battery is performing. And once again, guys, uh, Sony already implemented some type of digital well-being structure. So you don't have no worries about that. But for those that were skeptical, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, you're not going to have any issues uh, when it comes to the latest update on Sony Xperia SA2 Ultra. I still like this phone. I don't care how big and bulky it looks. Um, I like the edge-to-edge -edge display. And you got the Google button. It comes with its own Google button. So, now, I mean, now with the with the latest Android 9 Pie, you, you have your own Android Google button. Now, um... Now, I noticed a lot of people were complaining about themes, the experience things. I don't even play with the theme, so I don't even care about that. But all you got to do is hold down the home button and look at your theme section down there at the bottom with the wallpapers along with your transitionings and grid and settings. So just, just hold down the home button. Hold down the home button and you'll see your themes and your wallpapers and stuff like that. That's how you get to them. But... Other than that, uh, you're still getting the functionality out of, you know, you're getting dark mode, night mode, and everything like that. You're still getting the Android 9 
Um, most of the Android 9 features, like I said, the only thing you're really missing is the digital well-being um, by Google and the Google AR Core. But Sony has their the own implementations of all that. It is what it is. It just depends on what you like better. Do you like stock Android better or do you like uh, Android scan on top of Android 9? And that's where the differences will come in and performance and efficiency and battery life and all that. Um, like I said, gaming, man, this is a beast. Four gigabytes of RAM on this, this smartphone. You should have no issues with gaming on this device. Now, of course, Fortnite. You're not going to play Fortnite, little kids. You're not going to play Fortnite on the Sony unless you got like an APK or something like that. You go go one into them, uh, them hack stores or whatever and you download the Fortnite um, to there, but... This is on, it's not on Snapdragon 855. So it is what it is. This is a battery efficient smartphone. Battery efficient smartphone, a performance smartphone. It's not the top of the line. It's not the best thing out there. But to get the job done, it has great call quality. Nice, nice, nice selfie cameras. It has two. It has two selfie cameras in the front, wide angle, 120 degree wide angle. You could get the whole family in a portrait. So if that's what you're looking for, one of the best front facing selfie cameras in a mid-range game, it's definitely Sony Xperia. That, that's all I have to say about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, based on my um, experiences, would you be willing to upgrade to Android 9 on your Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra? This your boy, Two Phones. I'm out.